Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. Yo, welcome everybody. Oh, this is my <laughs> my eyes up here, guys. Oh, <laughs> what's with my hair? This was today was a bit, uh, stressful day. I had to get up in the seven in the morning. People came over and they were installing uh, something in our kitchen. Hmm. Wait a minute, is this the right? Yes. <laughs> Just making sure the camera is right because it looks so annoying. Anyways, today is a new thing that ha is happening here. I thought I'm gonna try. By the way, the song that you hear, listen to right now is uh, my musician made the song. Uh, he made a different song which I played a different stream, but. Um, as I was like developing the game, I realized that maybe it was a bit too hectic because the song fit very well like a game where, you know, like Tetris, where things are happening very fast. Um, but the game right now is more and more of like a cerebral kind of like sit back and, and think about about it game. So I talked to him and say like, hey, maybe we're gonna take something that's maybe a bit, a bit slower. And he's like, gotcha, babe. And then he just, just uh, popped this one out. And um, and I, I really enjoy it. I think it's it's... I'm listening to it because I want to be like get in the mood and, and see if it works as a background sound and and it works to me like it's it's really great yes it's it's uh, it's it works really well. So um, another thing that is new is that we are now on Twitch. So this is the first stream I will stream a uh, restream on Twitch. I'm using this service called Restream. I don't know if it works. Um, but we are on Twitch and I also have like a special chat that allows me to to to, um, to chat in both right so I can go like hi all and it will I will chat to to YouTube and Twitch at the same time which blows my mind but here we are it's the future everything's possible and so because I'm a bit tired I had to get up in the seven in the morning I um, I decided that we are going today. We are not going to be doing too stressful stuff. Uh, I want to be ho like do like a not maybe too long of a stream, just like sitting back a little bit and fixing some important issues um, to prepare also like the the sound stuff because I feel like the sound stuff is very very um, undeveloped so far we've been working a lot on like visuals and stuff like that and we've been um, we haven't been treating uh, the type of topic of music with the proper uh, proper uh, respect um, so yeah here we are Okay, that is enough. We're gonna try to get this sound in uh, to into RP Create. Just making sure. I whew, setting up this this restream was a bit of a challenging thing, but uh, let's see how this works. So um, where are we? Oh, let's let's open Pretzel. <laughs> so let me see uh, let me go to the desktop view so right so these are like different uh, different uh, these are different files that we got here and this is the one that we are interested in so let us open this in oh i have to actually un unpack it that's fascinating And this is the thing that we are interested in, SFX and Meuzak. I'm just making sure that I haven't checked in maybe something. I've been actually showing the game for the first time to somebody today and yesterday. Well, almost today. So I've been out with some uh, game developer friends with mine, of mine. And I showed them the game and, uh, you know, I didn't show them too long. They were just like tried one time, but they seem to enjoy it. Uh, and everybody asks immediately, like everybody's question is immediately, uh, is, it, is it on mobile? Which I understand. Okay, so we are we're correctly synced up. That's good. Um... 
Nick. Ähm... Okay. So now I want to open this in Oh, it's already open, that's good. So let's grab this and let's plop this into Here's music and here's sound effects. This is the previous sound effect that we put in there. Ooh, let's see how this works. Load buns. Wow. Use up 30 sound effects. Half of the sound effects gone. See if we get a proper loop. Okay, so wonder if, if the idea is that this is supposed to be the beginning of the loop. for a while. Okay, so let's play the sound effects. Um, I the music immediately, I mean. So how are we doing going to, this is music, yeah, music zero, 1000. Let us not fade it in. Let's just like go. Hello there, I just noticed the little mouse on the cover. It would be nice to insert uh, this character in some ways. Maybe he could be an opponent that seals buns sometimes, what do you think? Yeah, some people... I know, guys, I know. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of people suggested the mouse character as well. So thank you for the suggestion, Alberto. I definitely have the mouse in my, in my mind. So um, when I was, for example, designing the cards, one of the ideas I had is that maybe the card, the mice would be on the back as a... As a, as a um, decoration um, but and I even tried it but it was a bit too specific uh, for decoration so I decided against putting the mouse on the card back but I will find a, a, a place for the mouse I don't think stealing buns is a good idea because um, the problem is the buns are not valuable <laughs> it's not like uh, they stealing buns will sometimes stealing buns will help you actually like depending on the situation so um, that's not something that's, that's very ambiguous. Um, I guess it will screw with your plans, but then if you, if you, you know you lose the game because the mouse stole your bun, that's kind of weird, and you cannot actually do anything about it. So um, yeah, I probably won't make it so that it's, that will seal your buns. But maybe I also thought initially the idea was like maybe the superpowers were something that were, came from the mouse, or maybe the mouse is selling you the recipes. That would be also possible. There, I think there's multiple options here. I don't know, this game works. If I go to main menu, music minus one, 3000. So if I play through the game, I want to fade it out. Sure thing, Alberto. Let me know if you have any other suggestions. 
hopefully <laughs> hopefully once that i i can can actually fulfill maybe a little bit oh that's a nice nice smooth uh, fade out maybe a bit too much I like the intro that that Sebastian made. He likes those intros, and I think it. it you can tell that he's a Sebastian is my musician, and uh, I really like the way that he works. So this music is pretty soft, but I also tuned down the um, the voice, of the volume of of Pico Eight. So it seems to be a, a bit choppy today. Do I have anything running? So let's check this in. Uh, yes. Um, also, I wanted to uh, something I, I I noticed is that the deck is is changed. Uh, I put it on this in this test mode, so I will change back to th three to one. That's good. Okay, let's see if we can pull this off. This is a tough game. Only the toughest will survive. Giving you cards. I want to have three off. Oh, dang it. Dang! Yes! Three of pretzels. Got it. Okay, three of pretzels done. Now we need to take care of the buns. Need the pretzels. Hmm. Can I break up this somehow? I don't think so. <laughs> it might be actually stuck here. Give me, give me a three off. Come on, man. Not this one. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. This is this is a tough spot. I think we're gonna lose this. There's really no good solution here. I actually want need to get rid of the this one, but ugh. and every, everything else would screw up my my combos. Except like no, this will also screw up my combos. Well, we can fix it maybe. Oh, of course, now I get a three off. Pfft. Stuck. Well, yeah, we need we need maybe someone kind of like fanfare going like. Beep, beep, blah, 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 blah. Oh, 
Okay, this is good. This works. So let us think about sound effects. So in order to not to collide with my musician guy, I will actually start at the very beginning. So at 64, uh, at the end, I mean. So this is going to be 63, I guess. Oh no, <laughs> it's my, going to be my sound. No, actually, not. it's not the sound that I want to do first. First, let me first, let, let me check this in. Buns um, music. Um, slow test. Okay, so um, if we look at our to-do list, um, the next thing that we have to do now is flies uh, buns fly in at the start this is the thing i want to i want to be doing next so, and i have an idea how to do this so i think this redo bun spur i don't think we need this anymore and that's that's great because that means we can get rid of it here yeah this part because i think we just need like these guys and we're good and we might actually not have to do anything here so we're just going to go clear buns at this point should be possible right clear buns clear buns and then we should get It doesn't give me free sprites. Right. Um. Right, I don't. Oh, yeah, so we have to. We need this baby after all. Ah, oh, that's bad. Hmm. Yeah, the problem is we're treating. We are treating the bun sprites differently than we're treating the card sprites, so the same trick doesn't quite quite work. Quack quack. So we can do redo bun spur. And we're just gonna make a new function called flying buns. More tokens for the token grinder. Time to to save some save some uh, tokens here. Um, buns dot spur, right? Um, The goal is now to make the buns go reset reset to being uh, above. So uh, so we're gonna make there is um place spur. 
what we're looking for. You know what? While we add it, bet better bun drawing. I think we we deserve better bun drawing. Um. Anyways, back to our our main concern here. Uh, we are in draw. We want UI stuff. So we're gonna first we're gonna place spur. We're gonna place the bun like higher than 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 it is right now. So we're gonna go place spur this. No, you go away. I hate you. Can I? Ugh. Horrible, horrible music person. Um. So how much higher? Can we go just let's go just 128? Let's make let's make it just really simple. And then fly in spur, right? And not fly in spur. Um Move spur I th or something like this. Move, yeah, it should be a move spur, but I'm not sure why it's not there. Move spur, there we go. Today's a slow streaming day, I noticed. Maybe everybody's at Gamescom. So I'm guessing we're gonna have to like remember where we were before we move it. So we're gonna go like this, this, spr.x, spr.y, and then we're gonna move it in. Um, s, what's s? Speed. Let's, let's make it move in the same way it moves in when we do the clear buns. Okay. Okay, so they will, should now fly in. There's something I have to also check um, where it's like. Actually, we have to actually check if bun. Is it, is it buns? Yeah, buns. I. Because we don't want to have the um, off screen buns do this. Let's try this. Okay, so they fly in. The only problem with the fly in right now, they all fly in the same way and there is no waiting involved. So it would be nice if they like, um, they waited a little bit. like a really big weight let's see what that okay um so now i want to maybe like a c here like a counter 
C. C plus equals one. Let's go thirty plus C times ten or something. Let's try this. This is good. I will now I want to go backwards to this array. So Okay, so now the spacing is a bit too crazy, so let's go down to 5. I think it's even more I think we have to go even more down. Feel they're they they are a bit too elastic, so I will reduce the um, spacing. That's a bit too too little. Um, I don't like the um, amplitude. I don't know how I don't know how to solve this. What's the best way to solve this? fan maybe it's the problem is it's like it's line by line it would be maybe more interesting if they kind of like came basically column by column let's try that one so we're gonna go I want FX. Yeah, that's better. Let's see if this will. In cube? No. Oh, come on, what is it? Don't 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 tease me like this. What is it? In cube, cube in in quad, okay. Mm -hmm. 
It's, that's fascinating. Is wrong. We're having right now. Let me give, let me brownie this out. Is that the amplitude is too crazy, right? So maybe the the solution is just to limit the am am amplitude. See this this feels really great. So the way we have um, this, we can also um, we call it just limit amp. Say for ten is zero point one. Mm, this goes like sixteen. Um, so if so let, let's plug in well. So let's say we have 16 pixels now. We plug in 0 0.1, then we're gonna get um, amp. 0 0.1, we mul multiply by distance. 
which is 16 divided by distance. Okay, this is good. And if it's then double twice as far away, then it's like amp. Point one um, multiplied by distance, which is 32 divided by so it 16, so it gets bigger. So now, if the distance is bigger, um, I want F to be smaller when the distance gets bigger, that's right. Okay, so again. So if you have amp is 0 0.1 and uh, I multiply by distance, which is 32, then you divide by 16 and then amplitude gets bigger. Divide it and multiply it by just now. Still gets bigger. So let's go distance divided by sixteen. Small. Yeah, that's good. That seems correct. Mm -hmm. Not limit ammo, limit M. Okay, just just want to make sure that this is also respected here. I hope this this is fine. I I hope it, it could supply to a function more than. that we're actually using this this new function we're not using it yet Just call it scale amp. Thank you. 
let's see if we can apply this also for in games. Maybe we can we want to have it 0 0.2. Let's see. No. Maybe 1.5. Um, I think 1.1 was uh, 0 0.1 was fine. Yeah. A, a little bit of wobbliness, but like not. Let's not overdo it. And then if I. This music is so good. I love it so much. I love it so much. I love it so much it hurts. It just makes me happy. I love the, the how it like raises the pitch. I, I don't know. I, I'm not a musician. I, I just love it. It's so much better now. Ah, oh, love it. Oh. Okay, so um, so make, let's make the flying buns now work better. So See then. What if we make this like, like this? No, that's not good. No. Nope. Remove the C completely. Mm. Does, does, does make a difference? Or maybe instead of a C, let's add a Y. I don't know. I feel like this is this is a bit bit much. So let's just add z point plus underscore c. Let's let's see how this works. I don't like this music. Um. Okay, so now we just need to do the press bright bright. We don't have to do this pre sprite now. We do. We do have to. Welcome to the mus musical stream. I'm your DJ Chris Man on the turntables. Do 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 do. Is it 
three months per. Don't scale. I love it. Okay, so now I want the dealing of the card at the beginning. I want this to be a bit slower. Thank you, Minimus. Yeah, it's, it's good, right? Maybe a bit too fast. Let's make the animation a bit slower. Just to see. Just to see. It's fine. Mm, a bit too sluggish. I like it. No, wait, that that was a bit of a. I think one was fine. But this uh, means we have to wait a little bit longer for the card dealing to happen. <laughs> this, 
this this music. Oh, I love it so much. Why do I love it so much? All right, let's check this in. Next goal, um, better bun drawing is something I wrote down here. Uh, I wanted to make the music, but fine, let's do some housekeeping here. So, off the board, this is bad. What is this? What are we doing? Oh, this might be the board. We're drawing the board here. That's okay. Um, yeah, I don't like the H ones. What what happens if we if we remove, remove this, for example? Nothing. Everything is fine. I don't need the H one. Okay, great, so we can get rid of this. Yeah, this is the, the hovering. I don't think we need this. Let's try to get rid of this. Just gonna assume that uh, we're gonna find this sprite. Oh nope. Fine, fine. Right, yes, of course, because we we are going through this entire area. Okay. Maybe the problem is that we have like these arrays that just go through it and and just draw all of the buns in this array. Right. Hmm. So the problem is that um, we could put everything together in one big function uh, that will save us some time. But if we do so, the hovering is kind of like a very, very complicated part of it. And it seems like it's kind of difficult to somehow, yeah, I don't know. How much tokens is this? This is like 10 tokens. So we could potentially save like five tokens. Doesn't seem like a big saving. So maybe we need not gonna do this, but it's a bunch of Cool, let's try the s sound effects. <clears throat> I'm gonna make this as loud as possible.
Okay. Um, So this is going to be 62. So now we need a sound that confirms. That sounds good. Do -do 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 -do. Now it's sixty two, sixty one. The, um, the moving sound is a bit too loud. Let's put it in here. So I wanted to see something. There's a Let's 
sound 11. Huh. Ah, because of the vibrato effect on this. Can I do this as well and see what that, how that works? Now I want to have like the collision sound with the cart and the um, and the bun. So now I wanted to do something. I wanted to actually pick this part of this music, sound effect 11, and I just want to paste it actually. So this is going to be like the fanfare of actually completing the four in a row. choose you chose a card pack design in the end um i uh, this, that's something i did yesterday um i made i wrote a small program that generates those so they are generated randomly uh, procedurally <laughs> something's wrong that doesn't sound right Sounds better here, speed nine. Mm. 
Maybe this? Maybe this would be good. Uh, how do you mean the tutorial on this? Because this is not, I'm not going to make uh, write a tutorial about how to make, about how to make um, this specific game. There is definitely a Pico 8 tutorial that you can check out on the website, on my, on my channel. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a vibrant um, chiptune community just writing music on for this and just not, not doing anything else, but just writing music. It's um, it's the same. It's it's just two different modes of seeing the same data. So um, this is kind of like how you would usually make sound effects, where because you can see kind of like visually what's happening. But if you actually want to make music, you generally uh, switch to this view. This is the same data, just represented differently with numbers. And usually musicians like to work in this. And typically non-musicians like me, like just draw something and it's like, it'll be fine, you know. Maybe, maybe not, maybe, maybe, maybe let's not. I, I don't like this, but I am, but it's a good starter. So let's try to get a, get a four in a row. I think we can pull this off. Just need a bun removal. There we go. It's a bit soft, so let, let's make it louder. What if we make it slower, like 18? Um, the line of code, which code, line of code do you mean? I mean, uh, you mean the text here? That's that's Lua. It's called a Lua. So how we're we going to get in a four in a row here quickly? Oh, I know. Oh, I just need to a single, single cinnamon bun. Come on, give me a single cinnamon bun. Not two. Two is bad. Not three. <laughs> Maybe 
we're gonna make it here. Where are we updating the game? Uh, update game, there we go, yeah. This is where we're clearing the clearing auto raw. So we, maybe it makes sense to do it here. Maybe it should be a bit softer. Softer still. And of sixty one. How close are you finish to finishing this? Um the quick question i have no idea <laughs> i i have no idea i mean it's playable it's kind of like a, um, a bit of a subjective question i don't hate it i do not it. Uh, so how close am I, am I to finishing this? Oh no, there's a fly there. Um, I don't know, I would say maybe halfway. Hopefully halfway. So yeah, I mean, hmm. so this is, um, this is um, number nine, right? This is stream number nine. And I have to be finished by Thursday the 30th because the 31st is a tournament I'm attending to. So yeah, halfway. This is the deadline is the 30th of August. That might be finished earlier. I, I don't know. Should be it definitely will be playable earlier. I mean, it's already playable. So, I probably once the special moves are in, I will probably start posting some test version to get some to get some feedback in. Mm, I don't like. I don't like the fanfare to be happening here. I think it's a bit too early. Well, this might have been a good solution. Oh, look how much, how much, how much we're collecting. So that's next, next week. If you're halfway then, what's left to finish? <laughs> so um, on the left side where there's the star, uh, I want to have like special um, orders, like special abilities. And right now there's just one ability, which is kind of like a placeholder when you click on a star, then you would, the, shuffle, the cards at the bottom get reshuffled. But I actually want to have like, uh, at least three different special abilities and then also wanted the ability to be tied to the buns you have and that means i also want to have a shop where you unlocked new buns or like new recipes so that's kind of like completely different screen then if you look at this this is like completely placeholder this is like just to have something on a screen like i have to redo this whole main menu uh, so that's a lot of ui work a lot of ui work for the store uh, I need persistent saves, so you know which buns you unlocked is actually saved persistently. Also, how many stars you collected is saved persistently. Um, well, so the shop UI and um, this power up stuff is, is are the more biggest challenges now. Yeah, they will take some time. And you know, uh, for example, if you 
this 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 card UI at the, at the bottom of the screen just drawing it took me like an entire day. So so you know making an entire screen where you, where you unlock cards with abilities that that can take another day. Yeah, upgrades will be really great. The question is like if I can make it because you, as you can see uh, down down here is like the limit of how much code I can write. Right now I'm at 4,400 tokens. I can spend a total of 8,192 tokens. And once it's spent, I cannot write anymore any longer. <laughs> like the program is over. So um, the question is if I can fit all of the abilities and, and upgrades and everything, if I can fit it within the token count, which I'm I'm uh, I'm worried about this is this is the, my currently my biggest worry. So, if push comes to shove, I think I'm pretty sure I can make it so that you can just unlock so just for it to be just aesthetic and you can just unlock different 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 um, designed um, pastries. That's that should be doable. But the question is if the pastries can have different abilities. That would be great. <laughs> And you know, um, even if uh, that's like just features, you know, afterwards there's still like, I could add like, a lot of like special effects, particle effects and stuff like that. I feel like there's potential to like have like confetti or something happening because this is so... Oh yeah, and also there, technically it would be great if there was some kind of tutorial or some kind of how to play. I don't sprite work myself, but there, but they very advanced. You you mean my sprite work? No, no, it's I don't know. <laughs> But I'm glad that you like it. Yeah, I like it too. It came out very well. I was surprised. I was worried that I was worried that they wouldn't look be looking nice, and I would have to maybe like get a, an actual sprite artist on board. to have this, some kind of sound effect here. Oh man, I just, without thinking, I almost finished this game. Mm, but I got stuck. <laughs> There's no two off. Just a three off. The irony, if I had a two off, I would do it. I mean, if there was a way to make it true of. So, um, there was a really good, great talk about limitations of Pico 8. Um, so, uh, the reason why the limitations of Pico 8 are in place is because they help you, actually. Um, I think the biggest problem as a newcomer is to make too complicated things, to make stuff very, very complex and to... To chew off more than you can bite and the fact for example that pico 8 just has like these 16 colors and you cannot change them and that's like all the colors you have is it's kind of liberating it's kind of like okay this is the stuff i have to work with whereas when you start a pixel program and you have to like define your color palette then people tend to choose really bad colors and that's you know sabotage their entire project from the get-go or they choose too big of a sprite or too small of a sprite there's like all these um the freedom um, allows you to make a lot of mistakes or like makes you make a lot of mistakes. 
And if you're extremely restricted like here, that kind of like limits your choices. And so we cannot do too many things wrong. No, you cannot steal sprites. Absolutely not. You can't. I had again one student um, copy sprites from Mega Man from NES Mega Man. It was too big. <laughs> you have to. Go, you have to go small. <laughs> also, yeah, I, SNK or Capcom sprites, the fighting game sprites is. I wouldn't do fighting games at all. It's just completely out of the out of your league as a as a newcomer. I made a video about this early on. Like, um, fighting games are especially one of the genres that a lot of my students try and fail horribly because they're just, they completely underestimate the amount of work you have to invest in the animation systems. Not just the animations themselves, they are incredibly advanced as well, but also the systems to drive those animations and the gameplay. It's just, it's, it's a very advanced game. It doesn't look like it because everything is under the hood. Okay. No, no double dragon either. Everything that involves punching. I have a video. Wait a minute. I'm gonna post it. I posted a video recently about this. Double dragon is even worse to some extent because. In Double Dragon, you need an AI that is, that is behaving kind of in a smart way, and also you need levels. And both of these are like, Whoa. come on, what? YouTube is not working? How do I'm streaming? Is YouTube out? Oh, it's working. That's funny. I'm just, I cannot access my dashboard. I can't access YouTube. That's weird. Let me see. Why do I have 42 notifications? Oh. Got it. Do, 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 do. I didn't post it. I didn't post it on Twitter. That's weird. Maybe I should post it on Twitter. Ah, there we go. Okay, so uh, so many things. Okay, so here is the um, the link. Oops, this is not the one I wanted. Can you still get past this? Work. It's so weird. 
Okay, so this is done. Oh, I didn't haven't staged all of the changes. So yeah, more powers. More powers now. Is that how we're gonna? <laughs> That's how how we're gonna roll. that we are already done with all of the things that we... I, I thought it would take such a long time. Yeah, I think I have to sit, sit, sit down with my sound sound genius and figure out... Um, oh yeah, no, that's not, we're not done at all. I also wanted to have the cards, the card sounds. I knew it, I was missing something. Like this or this? This is a bit. Yeah, I think this is better. That's too musical. Okay, um, we're gonna do is an update. Animate bonds. Make it like this. So this is basically a sound effect that, oh, that's actually a good idea. So the sound effect that plays when, after something is moved, that, that's actually, that's actually, that's actually genius. Weird. 
Did I say something wrong? Five eight. Oh, maybe SND is already. Let's go with SFX and SFX. Hmm. Okay, this didn't work. Why? Let's make it really loud. Whatever. Right, it's it's the wrong. I mean, it's good to have this guy. But what we want you want is ah, see, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so maybe sound effect why 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 a really nice sound effect huh. so maybe we're gonna play Actually, it's very similar to this one. We don't have to, we don't need that, that loud. Okay, so now I want to do something else. In you, no, it's updates when I get hit by, yeah, this part. I can delete this now. It's it was sixty, and in UI stuff. No, in in game. In a gameplay, yeah. Here, where we the the buns are flying away and clear buns. Oh man, the clear buns is such a huge function. We're gonna SPR and SFX equals sixty. I don't like the maybe a bit slower. A bit higher. Or maybe the different sound effect.
Let's try this. <laughs> I kind of like it. <laughs> huh. Oh, right. Maybe we might have want to have a slightly higher pitch for the moving. It seems like very like bassy. Let's try this. Yeah, that seems better. And then the moving sound as well. Heart sounds a bit a bit too crazy. Let's make it let's make it a bit cuter. Maybe something like this. Hmm, what about the other way around? How about slower? Hmm. Let's try this. Mm, I don't feel like there's a lot, a lot of distinction between the card sound now and the the movement sound of the cursor. That's kind of nice. That sounds good. It's kind of like more snappier, snappier card sound. That's not good. Sound effects are too loud. I 
And I feel like the moving should be louder. What if we... Let's go crazy. The card sound. It's still a card sound I'm not, not really happy with. I do not hate. Let's try this. Yes. Can I make a card move sound? Is, can I pull this off? I already tried it in the past. It's kind of difficult to make like a like a nice whoosh sound. I mean, that is whoosh sound, but that's kind of like sounds like something that's really big. I want to have something that's small. Nah, it's fine. We don't need it. Can we?
Yeah, the fanfare has to go differently. It's too too similar to them. Something I also noticed is that when I shuffle stuff back, this also should have uh, this this um, shuffling sound effect. Yeah, that's better. I feel like we're off the rails now. What? Oh, I, I got the croissants. Oof, yeah, yeah, this is... Mm. No! <laughs> okay! Oh man, that was lucky. I, I cannot do it, right? I can! I'm glad. I'm, I'm happy with how this works. So there's a couple of sound effects that we still need. So I'm going to write them down. SF, SFX. Win, fun, far, lose, fun, far, redo, um, for, the reader star combo. I think that's not a good sound effect yet. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, but something else I wanted to check out is um, sound effects for the menu. Then confirm sound, which one do we take? Mm. 
Maybe just this 60. And then it's here as well. Maybe like this. Oops. What? Wait a minute. Huh? So we're gonna make a gameplay so that it's un undoable. Like threes. All threes. Just just threes. Give me just threes. Yeah, I feel like we need a confirm sound. Maybe it's faster. Okay, 57. Um...
Feel the beat, that's right. Yes! Survive! <laughs> ah, also I want to have like a map sound when there is no, when it doesn't find any, any orders to fulfill. I'm whistling this music in the office for an hour. I think that's a good sign. Yeah, it's it's me too. I'm I'm, I'm with you. This is good. This is oh man. I have to. Mm. Almost. Definitely not. Nope. Well, more like this sound this is. Five, six, five, six is, is the right one. Nothing viral happens. Oh man, Tetris. Talking about the epic... The epic earworm. Okay, so let's now fix the gameplay. And then we can send this to Sebastian and then maybe you can like look over some things. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it would be nice if the cursor was shaking, right? Maybe we can pull it off. Uh, how do we do this? Um, So that's where we are. Where are we? Draw cursor. Draw R. Draw. There we go. Card spur. Draw game. Surprise. Shadow order is deck. Draw cursor. No. There we go. Here. Ah! We can go with eight. Thank you. 
of the game. Like it's, it's over now. Um, so the game over is a bit um, slow if the uh, yeah if the cars are still flying, right? But yeah, that's that's what that will solve itself. Let's not waste more time. Let's check this in and move on. So let's, so let's see. So redo star combo is um, yeah, win one far, lose one far. I think that's that's the most important ones. <clears throat> Advanced content constant speed. Let's actually we, we, we fix this windscreen juice. Okay. Okay, more power. So I think we're gonna we're gonna do the rest of the day. We're gonna do some um, uh, uh, some work in S Bright. But for now, I'm gonna leave you for a second uh, so I can get something to drink, and I'll be right back with you, and so we can we can do this S Bright kind of stuff. I, I'm gonna leave you with some music.
It's me. I'm back. Okay. So the way we do this, we we gonna start the game. That's a bad idea to, to have two things running at the same time. <laughs> okay. Let's make a, s a screenshot and get out of here. Bye! Okay. Let me show you my desktop. Ooh. So the next goal for today, for the next one and a half hours or so, is going to be to design the interface for the special or special moves. And maybe if we're lucky, we're going to have some time to design also the interface for the um, for unlocking new cards. There's actually kind of like a third interface as well for uh, for the for the card uh, for the loadouts. There's, there's lots of design that we have to do. It's what I'm saying. Do, 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 do. Let's begin with the powers. I think this is kind of like an important one. Maybe this will be an opportunity to bring our, in our mice somehow. Feeling the burn. Yes. Oh, okay. Let's save this. As bright. Okay. So this is like taken straight from our game. And the question that we're having here right now is how to make it, how to make this not horrible. Do 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 do. Ichiban. Ichiban. Stop. So one important thing is I actually want to change the ordering so that the one is in front and not behind the star. That's something that we messed up because it's not consistent and I feel like I think it's better if, if the star is in front. and erasure. Destroy. Okay. So this is 
um, this is what we are seeing here. So I had an idea that maybe let's just try this out. I had this idea that maybe there's like a box and then all, all the, the all of the all of if you like if you collect the four off it goes into a box and it's kind of like the storage where you store your superpowers or where you store your stars like a magical magical box. Gray is probably not, not the best color. Or how about? Oh, sorry. <laughs> huh? Why? Why? Why though? Well, I guess it 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 ekes out at at those corners. <laughs> There's a fly here, which I despise. What? Impossible. Oh, I guess it's zero tolerance. Oh, because I'm drawing on this. Mm, I made mistakes. Let's make a new thing. What? Let's make. Let's focus on the box first, and then we can think of how how to draw the star on it. sound effects you want to see yeah no it's gonna be a, uh, a box like a box a candy box or like a pastry box and then then um, the idea is that the, the the buns go into the box what's in the box So sound effects wise, so let me turn off the music so you know. We have we have music, we have everything now. It's crazy. 
look at this. Look at this. Do you see? Are you, are you listening? It's good, right? It's so good. I should have made the sounds in there before. We're gonna get a random from above. The pretzel. <gasps> the pretzel. Yeah, boy! Yeah, the volume works works out well. I was actually surprised. I was I was really concerned. Of course, this this now needed this needs like a you know winning fanfare or the winning music. So the the music is very very earwormy. So it feels almost finished, though. Yeah, but I, I now I, the, the the question becomes like, okay, how do the star powers actually work? Like this, we've been we've been um, hold, we've been postponing this question for far too long. Now we have to like actually step up and figure out. So this is what I'm I'm working on right now. Thank you so much. I'm really glad that, that you that you that you enjoying this. That means a lot to me. As somebody who is who has impeccable taste when it comes to when it comes to um, Pico Eight games, that means a lot to me. Oh, you mean um, a special power to clear the board and spawn new bonds? Yeah, probably some. But uh, the question is not like what powers do we have? I think I, I have enough ideas for. Um, for powers and the question is like if we can pull them off within the token limit and also what's the ui for the powers is like how what do you press to activate those powers so that's what i'm trying to figure out now like if there's some kind of like metaphor that makes sense of course now i already used cards for for the cards so it's kind of like the cards are already off the table so i cannot make cards of the superpowers which would make sense like because you're holding the cards and using them so Yeah, I was thinking about clearing one card as a superpower. That's a possible superpower that we can add. I think this would be really good. And I think also clearing one bun would be also good. Because quite often you're like, okay, I, if there was just one thing, you know, if I just had one more one off, you know, then this would be good. This would be no problem. Do you have a graphic tablet and super, help, um, super helpful drawing stuff? Making huge maps and they're pretty cheap because uh, you can use even the welcome. I have um, um, Interwars too. Uh, I'm not using it that often. Um, I find like attaching it a bit complicated. I'm I have a Surface Pro, but S Bright in general doesn't really work well. I feel with 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 um, touch uh, controls, with like pad controls. Um, the problem I having with with using um, a, a pad with with this is that. Uh, like a touchscreen with this is I, I don't have space. I guess I should use a pad and a, and a keyboard. That would maybe make, make more sense. I don't know. I might actually whip out the Surface Pro and then attach a keyboard next to it. So I have a keyboard, but also the pen. Might be, might be worthwhile.
this one's good. Maybe try making the front side of the box darker, lighter, yeah, maybe. Or maybe like the entire front box is just lighter. How about that? Whoops. <laughs> No drap shadow. Drap shadow. DJ drap shadow. No, I don't like it as, as much as the previous. Yeah, that's better. Could even try to do a. I do not hate this. Oops, I didn't want to do start this. I wanted to look at the um, at mice sweet buns. No, oh gosh, this my my uh, my reflexes are always leading me to or followers that I don't want to go. With. So the stars are pink with a white outline. White outline. 
I don't think so. What about white? Maybe. What is the what do we do what do we do for the end screen? Yeah, may so maybe like this, yeah. Okay. They're popping it a bit more then. I'm also considering maybe moving the the actual the actual buns. about the box did you, did, you, did, you, did you think that it was like a, yeah like the idea is that the box was like something that the buns fly in and you collect them in the box and they're kind of like you know in your box um yeah i was thinking maybe doing a background i'm not sure that's maybe, that's something we can do maybe in in later on i kind of like the bright background because it makes it very seem like very much not a like a like I feel a lot of Pico 8 games always pick like some kind of color as a background, like some uh, black or some I mean, kind of color, like green because it's grass, you know. And the white I feel makes it so that that it doesn't really look like a Pico 8 game. Like it seems like it's a different engine. So I kind of like fell in love a little bit with a with a white background. But yes, we might we might actually switch it around a little bit. So we could move it to the side. Oh, I don't I don't like this to the side though. It looks like it looks it looks odd. Could move it a little bit. Something like this. So um, so I'm still not sure what to do with the background. Maybe I just leave it like this. I kind of like the cleanness of it. And I actually um, don't like how we adding all those different elements to it. That um, that kind of like breaks this this clean effect. But, but like, alas, what can you do? Um, this little do that, I think I'm gonna do. do um, I'm gonna solve differently. I was thinking about solving this differently, and I, I, uh, I'm gonna do it. So the idea is that we're gonna put it down here. And that gives us some more room in the unit interface. If I found a, find a really good thing I can put in the background, I, I will. Okay. 
Okay, so now the question is, what are, this is, this is now the major question, what are the special powers? And how are we going to communicate the special powers? How do people know what to press on, right? Let's, let's see if we can find some like inspiration. Pay, pay, streets. Okay, so here's uh, like a pay streets box, right? Store where they sell sale pastries. This Germany is Konditorei. Confectionery. Patisserie. Cake shop. Well, <laughs> it gives me actually actual patisseries. Nearby. Oh, this is a really good pastry to have. Is it like Affelstrudel? What is this? Or maybe just something abstract, you know, like one star do thing, you know, this kind of stuff. Aprikosen Gitter Torte. Wow. Aprikosen Gitter Kuchen. that on my list right away it seems fancy look at this <laughs> oh that's so cute can I this me Maybe like these kind of like cards, you know, where might be a, might be interesting design. Actually, I don't know if I can make it bigger because it needs it has room for four of these guys, right?
I I never get Save this in case there is some kind of major crash in a second. Ah, there we go. And we can barely have these cards. Let's see how long of a text we can even write to those, those guys. That's the problem here. Um, Let's assume this is this is how it looks. So let's see what kind of other text we can we can have like here. Yeah, so eat, send back, reject. don't like the design too much uh, it has to be kind of like very slight because I don't want it to to compete with the other designs here but it's, it's the color isn't right um, let's let's see how, how long what's the longest word that we can we can write here
uh, that, that won't be like a... That, that won't make sense, this word. I just would write, we want to write down how many letters we can, we can squeeze in here. And I guess it would make sense then to reduce the, the width of the label so it, it fits the maximum length. So, so, so it seems like one, two, three, four, five, five letter words we can use. What kind of five letter words can we use for, for the powers? So eat works well, right? Um, send, refuse, that's already, we have to use like thesaurus. That's refuse. Pass. Shun. SQ. Avoid would work. Um, forego. Transform. If you want to change something, change. Ch um, change. Shift. So that's that's one way of doing this, right? But maybe we can even. Hmm. So the problem with that is I don't I don't like the design of these. So maybe we can like change the design a little bit so it's it's less it's less ugly. Maybe we would make them darker and then give them a drop shadow. make them so that they are exactly the size for for um, five letter words I think five letter words give us enough freedom to give to name the powers in a meaningful way hey This is good. I mean, I could turn it into a card, right? I could go, go like the same procedure as with the cards. going on yeah so I'm trying to find out like what kind of buttons or what kind of menu element UI element should I use for the special powers like how to visualize special powers I'm not really sure about that so something like this I 
I mean, it's another card, but... white on pink okay what is orange okay Up to four special powers, but oof. yeah, I see that's kind of like a lot of space wasted for this. Mm. Would be nice. It would just look like this, you know. But of course, if they align with the lines, it will feel like they belong to the lines. That's also not good. Another option would be just like to hide it, just have the box here. And if you click on the box, you, you get stuff. Like they fly in later, like they're not always on, on the screen. Be might be a good, a good idea. I kind of like the size of the box. I don't want to like, screw up the box. Let's see if we can make the um, the cards. Let's see if we can make the cards thinner. Is, is, it seems the best. It's, it's just, it just works. Okay, so let's see if we can make this thinner. Kind of like the thick button style. Let's, 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 let's try to push this further. So just like a button.
So it's like a, that's kind of nice because it looks like a ticket. You could call this a special. Do not hate it. We could make it so that the buttons are usually not there. So it looks like this normally, but if you hover over the box, you, you will get them. Take them to fly in from the side. It would be kind of nice. So, so you're not like completely overwhelmed. Yeah, okay. Maybe a bit more uh, uh, tweaking the shadow. Uh, if we make them, they should be exactly as wide as the... Um, as the boxes, right? Which means we have to change the size of the box. But we can. Let's just, just try to change the shape of it. Oh my gosh, let's try to change the um, the size of the box. I don't like how they don't, don't line up. Let's fix that. I thought I would like it, but I don't like it.
Um, there's also one other problem is that I don't really see how much the um, how much it costs to to do these things. So make, let's let's try to make those. Um, let's try to make them really big. I mean, not not big in the sense of um, in, in high, but really wide. So they can kind of like maybe even extend out of side of the, of the screen. So it becomes more like a menu than actually like a physical thing. All right, so I can make this. Let's just make one and then copy. That makes more sense. That, that says we cannot like go make them go over this right just like extend yeah we might actually have to And this would allow us to make even longer words, right? We could like even write, write like really long words that really explain what, what's happening. So if I write one star in PQ8, how does that look? One star. Okay, so one.
Come on, man. Why? Why is it? Why are you? Why are you like this? Ask right. Why are you like this? What's wrong? Why are you doing like this? These are like not individual um, cards, but actually one big card. How about that? So it's kind of like a menu. That might be that might be nice. Because right now I don't like how the shadow doesn't really interact well with the with the background. Yeah, that seems that seems better. Oh yeah, I think we got it, boys. Boys. Got him. Okay, now just like the rest is just typography. <laughs> um. Divsod, how are you doing? You want to see something cool, Divsod? Have you seen the, the music yet, Divsod? The music is pretty cool. You want to say hi? You want to say ye yes there? Pro tip. Please, says Divsot in a, in a very wise manner. Hmm. Okay. Um. Open up your ears, just for you, Divsot. Thank you. 
Donut! A three off, I haven't noticed. No, oh, okay. GG. Yeah, the music looks correctly. It's also in different music now, so I like the music, it works very well. It works pretty well. Yeah, I like it. I like it too. It's it's um. Mm. Choice, choice. Okay, so now we're currently um, we're currently trying to figure out how to make the super power menu. And I'm thinking of doing something like this, where it's kind of like this menu that pops up from the side. Maybe, maybe white. Show me the end menu again. How does that work? Maybe you can be like consistent with. Okay, it's like two pixels from from the top and bottom.
Okay, so let's try to make the spacing between the different, different positions a bit, a bit bigger. So let's set it to one. Yeah, the strap pattern on the on the Starbucks, right? That's where the um, where the four offs will fly towards. So it kind of like there's a space for them to exist. And then when you click on the box, you get the menu. Maybe you don't click on the box. Maybe it just like pops in if you go to, all the way to the left. Have to figure this out. Something like this. Let me make it white. Um. Yeah, maybe. Let me make them more white with a. What if you make them this color? Nah. Nah. What if I make a, a shadow? Nah. Yeah, I think I think this is this might be a solution. I feel it might still need one more a bit more padding. I'm gonna try a version with more padding.
Yeah, this looks better. Right? This looks better than this. Yeah, this, this looks cramped. This is better. Oh, just something I realized is the f color scheme is different than on the on this card. This is white, and then if you hover it, it turns dark, and this is now hover is white. Awkward. Okay, so let's try this duplicate. Let's turn it into a bunch of buttons. menu whatever right we could make it dark and white let's see huh i kind of like the monochrome nature of that one actually Decide. Well, we can still change the colors for the other one, right? Yeah, it gives a bit more space. I, I thought I'd move it down there, yeah. I didn't like how it was like hovering there, and it's like uh, because I also moved the entire, all of the um, all of the buns a little bit to the right. There's also an um, argument to be made that the box also belongs maybe somewhere else. Maybe it's not up there, but maybe it's like here. So it's more of a. But actually, if, if you want to, you want to move it so that when it opens, the menu is doesn't completely cover it, right? So you want it to be like here, right? Because you want to see how many stars you have. Maybe it just stays up there. I, I think this is a thing that I have to sleep on. I think there's something I'm going to decide tomorrow. I am not not completely sure what to do here. Oh, by the way, I also wanted to see if the box works with this outline. Because we're always using this other outline. No, it doesn't. Okay. Yeah, me too. I'm uh, actually going to jogging go jogging now um, it was it was it was a brutal day I had to get up very very early and 
so yeah this is gonna be it for today tomorrow we're gonna try to implement this thing so we can have like uh, special powers now or at least we have can have a menu that has special powers and then afterwards we can actually start thinking also about how to make the main menu how to make uh, how to unlock new pastries oh yeah and also this act this screen actually also needs kind of like a text box that explains what these things do like if it just says eat that doesn't tell you anything so maybe like a new text box may has to pop up that describes what these powers do right um so yeah so that's also something that we might need to do Have to figure this figure this out. Maybe we're gonna figure out uh, this out tomorrow. Okay, guys. Thank you for joining me for this one again. Um, I wanted to remind you that um, this time around I streamed it to Twitch and um, and YouTube, so you know you can pick whatever platform you like uh, to watch the streams on. I'm kind of like trying to experiment with different setups to see like what works best, what where people respond the best. And I will say always uh, the thing that people say at the end of streams or generally when they stream stuff, where in YouTube. Uh, I'm, I'm not too good at this. Uh, let, let there. No, wait. There, there we go. There is the subscribe button. Uh, and you can subscribe to this. And in Twitch, it's over there. And you can click on this, I think. And you can click on this, and then you will get notification when I go online and everything. And you can, um, yeah, you you won't miss any streams that way. That's that way you, you will get informed whenever something important is happening, which is great. Um. Tomorrow, I'm not sure when exactly I will be streaming. We might be doing like a late night stream tomorrow because I have a bunch of errands to, to run in the afternoon. And so I might not be back to, to like five o'clock um, or something like this. So we might like start, I don't know, like six or something. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. Um, but yeah, probably more in the evening. Good. Ah, and always, as always, a very important thing. Check out Illustrations, the guy who made um, My Chan Sweet Buns. He's kind of a cool guy. You should check out his stuff. It's, it's, um, he makes a webcomic and it's really good. Cool. See you next time. See you tomorrow. Bye!